5 takeout review. Uh, we're here at Blue and Lansdowne. Uh, we're trying some Jamaican food. You know, Caribbean queen of pâtés. And uh, yeah, you know, I haven't actually had a chance to do any Jamaican food. I love Jamaican. I love the spice. I love the flavors in the island. Uh, you know, my family is part of my family goes back to uh, the islands in the West Indies. So, you know, don't it's listen good to, to kind of do some what? what go on, that? go on. All right. Teddy's already trying to do his. He thinks he's black. I never said that. Does it, you don't have to be black in the islands. There's people who are Chinese and Asian. Oh, after, 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 after. All right, so Teddy, because it's called Caribbean Queen of Patties, Teddy. Like, I gotta this channel is supposed to be a takeout channel, and now you're holding something out. that we waited 10 this minutes for. That's not takeout. This is takeout. You, yeah. you waited 12 minutes for that. It's takeout, man. I, I'm taking it outside. It's takeout. That's the definition. I, I thought you, you always went for the signature dish, and you went to Queen of Patties, and now you're eating, what is this, This is their chicken? special. They list it as a special. I'm going to try the patty as well. Okay, okay. I got some cola champagne as well. That's always, They didn't know, make that, if you're If you've been in the islands, you have fucking cola champagne. You've never been in the islands. That's the classic. That's the classic. But yeah, we're going to start off. We're going to have some jerk chicken and slaw and rice and beans. Have some stuff. There's a lot of carrots in this slaw, I have to say. That's spectacular. Oh, you know what? I think this is actually might be cabbage. That's interesting. Interesting. But yeah. Interesting, yeah. And then we'll get the rice and beans here. I don't know about you, does that look like more like fava beans or red beans to you? Uh, viewer, comment. Tell us what beans these are. They're beans, I don't know. Very tender though, so it works out. There's a lot of food here. Oh, this was like nine bucks for the combo. And then the, Wait, that was nine bucks? This was nine bucks. Oh, no shit. That was really good. Really good value. But we actually did have Jamaican on New Year's. I don't know if Mikey had any, but no, I didn't have any. Uh, well. I was trying to save up because I was trying to have a a healthy New Year's, which I did. Despite the fact that this is a channel about doing cake reviews, I've actually been hitting a lot of weight loss goals because I figured out these are my sweet days. Nobody heard any of that over me crinkling shit. No, I'm sure they did. So you, you heard it here, folks. You can eat takeout every day and lose 30 pounds. Technically you could, but you gotta make sure you're working out more than what you're eating. If you are, then, you know, you're gonna get some gains. Hell, maybe you'll get some muscle out of it. I don't know, it depends what kind of fast you're having. Mikey's gonna show us his exercises. That's the next video. <sighs> what yeah. he does to stay strong. Absolutely. That'll be, a, that'll be the future. Could you review your food? Yeah, no, no. I'm just trying to get like a decent amount of meat here. Because there's not a huge amount of meat with the bone. This is a good piece though right there. Sure. Yeah, that's a good piece. Mm. That and I am positively starving. Yeah. I am but we're also fortunately out on one of the few nice days that has happened this winter, so. Yeah. All right, well, let's take a bite of that patty and then I'll have a sip of that cola champagne sure. to ease off this spice. Get in, my, get in my pocket, Michael. Oh, it's in your pocket? Oh. Oh. That is a good sound effect. All right, so let's, I'm just gonna take a piece out of here. All right, that's a good moist patty, I would say. That's a good moist one. Maybe, you, you look like you're looking at a one of the not very filled parts, but... Well, I can try the pastry as well and then go to the meatier parts and see. The pastry quality is actually very good. It's probably one of the better, like, patty pastries I've had. Yeah. Yep. Wow, that's good. That's really good. Like good spice, super hearty. Um, the owner actually calls herself, she's the queen of patties in Toronto. And I can see that, this is really good, especially for the area. It's got like a nice sweet kick to it too. This is very good. Let me yeah. slip that back in your pocket there. There we go. Thank you for the taste. 
Oh. Now you know, viewer, he really put it in my pocket. He's an honest man. That's right. Yo, I made you an offer you can't refuse. <laughs> give Absolutely. <laughs> I give my business to my son Michael. Yeah. He's a good boy. You've now been to like five places within two blocks of Lansdowne and DuPont. That's crazy. I think, think it's about. time to name which ones you actually would recommend. Um, you seem mad about, uh, what was it called? Burger Bros? Hmm. Burger Bros. I'll, I'll agree it was kind of subpar. Yeah, I, Jesse you, from Channel 16 was not a fan of my review. He's, <laughs> he's just a fucking bitch, that's why. This is just a channel for calling out your friends. Absolutely. Um, this is absolutely what the purpose of the channel is. What else is there to do? I ate food. I call people out. That's the beauty. I got the whole form of the internet to say that um, Channel 16, he makes some good songs, but he's a pit bitch ass bitch. There you go. Michael's been drinking. Jesse, don't. Bitch ass bitch. Don't take it too rough. I know, I know bitch ass bitch is the last thing you want to hear, but oh my god. <laughs> but no, I like it. It's very, um, very hearty. Um, it's not the best Jamaican I've had, though, at least going from this. It's one of the best patties I've had, though. So I gotta factor that in. Would I go out of my way to try this? I'm leading to no, but I would say if you're in the area, I would say this is actually a really good lunch spot. Very reasonable price. The patties are as a tiny bit pricey, but not insanely. Yeah, pricey. they're like four fifty or something. Yeah. Well, you said I think it was like, yeah, like the patties are pricey, but they are insanely fluffy pastry. Yep. The meat is good quantity. It's really good. Um, I would probably say, like, it's definitely better than Portuguese chicken, guys. And I was, I think I gave that, like, what, a 7 3 or something like that? You're confusing them with Piri Piri. We or haven't Piri -Piri. been to Portuguese chicken guys on this channel. No, I think Portuguese chicken just, uh, closed down. That was sad. Did it really? Oh, yeah, sure. they're out in Etobicoke now. They're not in college anymore. Breaking news for everybody who somehow didn't know that and is watching this channel and relies on that joint. Yeah, for food. They were really good. Now I don't know what they're, what's there anymore. But these guys, you know what? Solid seven eight. Solid seven, seven eight. eight. That's, that's seven eight. Pretty vague. Vague. Okay. Would Would you uh, say that? What What else have we been to around here? Yeah. There's Piri Piri. There's like, Burger Bros. This there's to like an eight o, which is like what's the nearest? PJ Clux. Man, my burger from PJ Clux was good. My like yeah, like PJ Clux is what I would go out my way for to go back to. This, I don't think I would go out of my way for, but it's still very good. Mm. To where, if you're in the area, this is a good spot to lunch. This is a good spot to get some good food. And the patties are very, very good. But, it's not the best Caribbean I've had. And I wouldn't go out of the way for this Caribbean. There's a few Caribbean that I would go out of the way for. And we'll visit those sometime, like, or are those not takeout places? Like, there's a Pepper Pot, which is a take takeout place up in Ajax, or up in Pickering. That's very good. <laughs> Um, that they have really good jerk, really good oxtail. This place, though, their jerk, their jerk is pretty close, I would say. Mm. But yeah, yeah, we should we should try their oxtail sometime. I used to uh, I used to really like taste seduction over at uh, Dundas and Keel, but like right. eighteen buck meal is kind of kind of a big. But hey, if the quality is there, the quality is there, though. Yeah, yeah. But yeah, no, this is a good review. It's good food. You know, if you're in the area, give it a try. Well, that's a vibe. You know. Caribbean queen of patties. She be that queen, you know? Let's go queen. Absolutely. All right. Wish up.